here are the pieces and we're going to do the blouse first because it has more detail so right now I am going to adjust the the tension so that we have a nice tight sewing and I'm going to it's a very tight stitch next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the the sleeve and we're going to put it facing out and then we're going to fold it outwards and this is a very easy way to add um, a very nice touch to the sleeves or to the the neckline if you want to put this in the neckline as well so I always cut a little bit over because it is Clooney lace and now I'm going to flip it over you get to see what we have and I have white thread on the upper part red on the under so we're going to have white some white thread uh, peeking through And here we have one sleeve already done and it's already looking so adorable. Now for the other side. And for the neck I am going to put soft tool and that is my go-to for using uh, any kind of a, a bias tape, which for me is the soft tool. So I'm gonna finish up the other sleeve and folding, making sure that we have everything folded towards the inside. And <clears throat> there it is, I have it upside down. And I'm going to be cutting along the side a little bit of easement so that we can have, <clears throat> excuse me, and the easement to help us put the, there, to help us move it out. And my tool is here. I have it the way, um enough to cover and then one once I sew this and fold it over I cut the remaining I am at the shoulder now I am headed towards the the neckline of the front and since this is such a small doll the travel the travel from the back to the front is very short and what I use is the ruler of the edge of my of my sewing foot to help me and to guide me to make sure that we have an equal sewing and distance on both sides so it's not lopsided. So here we go. This is our tool. Now I am going to sew it from this part so that we can get red thread on the outside. So now I'm using the tool, which is helping me fold this over and see how easy this is with uh, the tool. All right, so I'm at the end of the back and now I am adjusting the fabric. And with the tool, fold it and hold it down because this is um, a very tight little a sewing area and it's also very detailed. We want to make sure that the, the sewing is even because that's what you're going to be seeing. So I am just sewing bit by bit as I 
fold this and turn this around and we are almost done here. Next thing in this is to cut the remaining tool. And we're going to take a look and that looks nice and we are going to massage the material. And there we go. This is our front. So I just cut the tool on the end. No reason to see that. Trying to minimize uh, any unnecessary time spent here. And now we are going to sew the edge or the back part. And then we're going to sew the shirt into, into the, um, the front and the back. And then we're going to see what resembles a little shirt. So I'm going to put the back and the front together. And sew this into what's going to be Brittany's blouse or the top part of the romper. And since this is Clooney lace, I'm going to cut this and then I'm going to use fray check and that's going to help to keep this under wraps and control it so it doesn't fray apart. And I am putting to make sure that this is straight there and do the other side. And then clip this out and we're going to turn this inside out. And there is our adorable little top for Brittany. Isn't this so cute? And sorry about that. I keep on hitting the, the camera. And since this is Clooney lace, you just got to be careful when you put it on to make sure you don't pull it. And here is the top that we just designed and this is the back and the way it's gonna go. Now for the shorts. So these are the shorts. We're gonna fold the outside part of the fabric or the right side, the correct side, and put them side by side. They're equal so it doesn't matter where we start. Next thing is that we are going to do the hem. I'm going to do one first and then I'm going to do the other one and match it so that we have matching hem on both sides of these shorts. And what I'm doing is I am using this as a measuring tool and the end of the fabric I try to keep it on the other. So that's going to help me as a guide and a ruler. So this is done and I'm going to look at this. And what you can do is fold it over and use pins to keep it in place so that you know that you're going to have an equal an equal um, shorts for your doll. So there we go. So I'm going to start on this side and like I mentioned I'm going to use the foot, the front and the back, the front and the back as my ruler as well. And I'm going to take this out because it's going to be in the way. So this is the part where we check to make sure that we are aligned here in the top and look at that. So 
this is the back and we're just going to fold it over and sew about an inch and a half not all the way down that's good enough and then the other and we put the middle with the middle of the romper of the shorts and then start from here and just gather and um, just gather the shorts eyeball it to where the middle is going to be and we're going to have like a little just a very slight uh, little um, just a slight little um, what's the word I want to use here like a little um, like a little dimple Okay, let's see here. So see here, here's one and here's the other. You won't be able to see it as much. So now I'm going to connect the back part just where we left off. We're in the back here. And we are almost done with the romper from start to finish and we just open it up and I'm going to use the pin to keep it into place and we're going to sew this and we will have a romper in less than 10 minutes I, having the lace on the sleeves sped up and made it easy for us to fold or to have that done and having the tool which is really uh, easy to use and inexpensive and just going to clean it up a bit and I'm going to turn it inside out and we are going to put this on Brittany. And there we go. And we saw that we had plenty of room here in the back. And let me adjust the camera so that we can see her. And here's our little Stacy. This is a skipper hat that I made for her. Have happy sewing. Thank you for joining. And this is the end of part three. Have yourself a great weekend, a great day, and sewing. Uh, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and give me a share. That's helping my channel grow. And a comment. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing for more do-it-yourself sewing and videos.